How do you think he would have done against Joshua? Because he said his trainer, Virgil Hunter, and him, they both said they wanted to fight Joshua at heavyweight because he saw some things in Joshua he thinks he could exploit. Yeah. Do you think that was just... Yeah, I don't think he wouldn't, beat it. he wouldn't beat a Joshua. I, I couldn't see that. Um, Joshua's a big guy, not your normal size heavyweight, and a special fighter, real gifted. Um, Olympic champion as well. You know, when you see what Roy Jones, when he fought John Ruiz, a little bit different. You know, I just see that, I don't know, Andre Ward, he's not the biggest guy either. I know Jones did it, but I just think he'd be taking on too much with a guy like Anthony Joshua. Too young, too uh, good fundamentals, good everything. Do you think Anthony Joshua is the reigning king of the heavyweight division? Now? I can't say that until he beats uh, uh, Wilder. Wilder's the top guy too, so they got to have that matchup, and then we'll find out who's number one uh, king of the heavyweight division. Would you put them at number one and number two in the heavyweight? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're both champions, so um, IBF, WBA, is Anthony Joshua, and WBC is Wilder. Yeah, I mean, it's a good matchup. So recently, Wilder was supposed to fight Ortiz. Ortiz gets popped for, well not steroid abuse, he got popped for a high blood pressure medication. And Joshua said he's not ready for Wilder yet in an interview. He said there's some things he needs to work on. And Wilder comes out with an interview and says he's the most feared man in the heavyweight division since Mike Tyson. How valid do you think that statement is? Not so valid, to be honest with you. Yeah, he is one of the top guys. It's not that Anthony Joshua is afraid of him, fears him of that, but this is a business too. So you have to remember that. Um, how many fights does Joshua have? I think. Joshua, not, I want to say not, not, 18 or 19, yeah, yeah. something like that. So a little more time, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not about fear, it's about timing and business and all that. Hey, I mean, Wilder is a hell of a fighter. Good puncher, dangerous. So, you know, uh, you can't count him out against anybody. But I still, I still wouldn't see him as the guy that nobody wants to fight. I mean, he, he's champion, don't get me wrong, but there's still another champion over there. I mean, that until they unify, then we'll know who the best is. So you think he's avoided, not feared? Well, I mean, look at Ortiz. They caught him, and anybody they catch with these tests, and they're, you know, they find that they're guilty, and they should get big penalties in boxing. This is a dangerous sport, okay? There's no excuses. He's been caught before, all right? So, we know his background. It comes to a point where you say, hey, listen, man, you're a cheater. It's like Pavekin saying, you're, you won this and that, Olympic champion. How can you uh, validate being champion when you've been caught for steroids at different times? You know, a cheater's a cheater. You know, whether it's Ortiz, whether it's this one, that one. You get tired of that stuff. Uh, I admire w the WBC because they have these, uh, this, this anti-doping with Bata. That's important because this is a dangerous sport. You know, there's a lot of these guys. I'm not going to mention any names, but they, you know they've got caught, and some haven't got caught. But you know, someone's life's on the line here. Yeah. Well, do you think the penalties are tough enough for cheaters? For instance, take a even. This guy wasn't even caught on steroids. He was caught patting his gloves or putting semen on his gloves. Uh, Margarito. Do you think he should even be allowed to box again? That's, a, that's a good point. That's thing. a good point. That's a good point. There could definitely be uh, an indefinite uh, suspension that he's finished. Yeah, I mean, you can't argue with that. Should it happen? Probably so. Probably so. When you're dealing with somebody's life, whether it's steroids, whether it's cement on your hand wraps, yeah, it could be over. I mean, they've already cheated and, and endangering somebody else's life, so no, they, they have that, there's things that we do and there's things that we don't do. That's, that's it.